Hi everyone, today we are going to make t-shirt yarn and we're going to start that in just a moment. So hi everyone, today we are going to be making t-shirt yarn and so the materials you'll need is a pair of scissors, sharp material scissors and an old t-shirt. So we're going to start by cutting the t-shirt just below the armpit. Okay? So we're just going to cut it. Just like so. Okay, and we'll put that part aside. Okay, so the main part we're going to work with is what's left. Okay, so we're going to start by cutting off the bottom part. We don't need this for anything. And we're keeping it as a tube, okay? We're not going to cut it across. We're keeping it as a tube at this point. Okay. Now, if you can find a different use for this, by all means, use it. I try and use everything. I hate to waste. So, I use everything up. Okay, so I cut off the bottom of the t-shirt, okay? Now, we're going to fold your tube in half. So that you have um, so you have it just so it's not quite meeting the other end, okay? We want about an inch from the top, okay? Then we want it flat, so just rub it out so it's flat. And this doesn't have to be perfect t-shirt yarn is rarely perfect. Okay, I do have a fold there. There it is, on this side. Okay, there. So about an inch from the top. And now what we're going to start to do is we're going to cut this into strips, but we're not going to cut all the way through, okay? So I'm going to do about the an inch um, wide strip okay and I don't cut all the way through I go just to the top but not through and we're gonna just do strips like this until we're at the other end okay so there we go don't go through Whoops. Okay, so maybe these aren't my sharpest scissors. Whew. Okay, don't go through. Now, when I make t-shirt yarn, I use it to make dog toys, which is another video I'll do another time. But, um, some people use t-shirt yarn to make, um, like rugs. You can use it for that. Some people use it to make, to crochet, um, dog beds or things like that. You can use it for all kinds of things. I hate to waste any kind of material or anything for that matter. And like always, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see 
more of my videos and be notified when I make them, then hit the little bell. And if you want to subscribe, well, I always like new subscribers. And I, if you want to comment, you can comment. If there's a video you'd like me to do, leave it in the comments and I'll do one up for you. I also do um, tutorials on dog sweaters and cat sweaters. My dog sweaters fit, my extra small dog sweaters fit most cats. My extra extra small dog sweaters fit kittens. And uh, my small dog sweaters fit like larger house cats, so like a Maine Coon or something like that. It's a bigger breed of house cat. My hand is getting tired. Holy crow. This is a really thick t-shirt. Oh geez, I almost went through there. Okay. last one I'm just gonna do it in half it's not quite an inch but it's close okay so there we go so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake it out and lay it flat now here's what we're gonna do we are going see how this is the edge that we didn't cut all the way through we are going to take this and we are going to cut diagonally from, so, okay, so see, this is the top we did not cut through. I'm going to go on an angle and I'm going to cut there, okay? Then I'm going to go an angle and cut from here to there. And then I'm going to go on an angle and cut from here to there. And I'm going to do this all the way across. Always cut on an angle. And you're cutting from the one slit to the other slit, okay? I hope you can see this clearly. So, from one slit to the other slit at an angle. One slit to the other slit at an angle. And it doesn't matter if your t-shirt has writing on it or whatnot. It doesn't matter for my projects, for my dog toys. Um, if you're doing a carpet, you may care. But, I don't know, it doesn't usually matter to me. Okay. From one to the other. Now this was where I almost went through. So see how narrow that is? No good. There we go. And then corner to corner. And then at the end, we're not going to have another corner to go to, so we're just going to go to the end. Okay? So the last one we did at an angle. Okay? Now, we... Oops. Oh, dropping things here. We are going to give this a pull and see what happens when we give it a pull. It kind of gathers up. Can you see that? You give it a pull and it kind of gathers up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to roll it into a ball and give it a pull while we're doing that. Be careful if you have skinny edges like I have that one. You might actually pull and it might come apart. And if it does, then I'll show you how to fix it. There we go. We're getting, and notice it's one long piece. So we're not going to have a whole bunch of joins because we did those angles. So it's just one long strip of material. There we go. So see, one t shirt gives you a pretty good sized ball. And 
Then when I'm making dog toys, I usually double my length and I have all kinds of colors. I save this and anytime there's a t-shirt that's faded or got holes in it or some kind of stains or whatever, I just do this. And see, we're just rolling it up. Oops. And see, we give it a pull and then it, it curls. See that? See how it curls? So that one t-shirt gave me a ball this big. There we go. That's our ball of t-shirt yarn from this old t-shirt. If you wanted to, you can't really use the top. I mean, unless you want to use it for something else. Or stuffing or something like that. But the bottom made us a nice ball of t-shirt yarn rather than just show it, throwing the t old t-shirt away. And now, like I said, people use t-shirt yarn for rugs. They use it for... Uh, the, I've seen them used t-shirt yarn for those cat caves. I've seen t-shirt yarn, heck, even used to make hats. So, yeah, you can use it for all kinds of things. So, there you go. A quick little lesson on how to make t-shirt yarn. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. And have a great day. Bye now.